Things are getting worse. Every year it's getting worse. I say let it burn. Let it all burn. I owe you for this one. Is back in town. Back in that one. I won't fight him. Closest thing I have to a brother. Save yourself. I don't know what to do, Lord. I just... Guide me. I have to choose uh, medicine or the church, and it won't be long before it's my medicine or my home. Please guide me. No doubt. Please. A donation. 350,000. It's yours. I need help. This is the house of God. I know.
this is from you, Lord. the east is from the west so far does he remove our transgressions from us we've been over this before I got it do you why'd you take me in if it wasn't for the money I had my personal reasons that's between me and God I'm here I want to believe I you're not ready you have to let go. Allow the Almighty to control your life. That person you were before, that person has to die. Now are you ready to let it all go? All the people you harm? Be honest. Forgive me. God, forgive me. Death. That's what it took to get through to Pharaoh. The death of his infant son. So he let Moses and his people go. But then his grief turned to anger. And he sent the chariots after Moses. But when God saw that his people were safe, he drowned the entire Egyptian army. An army couldn't deter God's will. An army couldn't stand against God's might. So what makes you think you can? You can't fool God. He knows who you are. He knows what you've done. He knows. That's it for today.
Reverend, you going somewhere? I'm sorry, Abby. I, I, I don't... I'm not fooling anyone. I don't belong here. I don't know what I was thinking. You're having a bad spill. We've been through this. Philip was wrong. I don't deserve forgiveness. I'm, I'm not worthy of it. The dreams are back. They never stop. They're always there. Staring at me. The people you wronged. Reverend. Philip was the Reverend. Do you trust me? That I know what I'm talking about. I have known my share of men. Kind, evil, everything in between. You are a good man and a good preacher. Just hang on. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to come here, but I, I need help. And I, and I am in really big trouble. OK, OK, slow down, slow down. I'm, I'm, I'm not Philip. Am I in the right place? Uncle died almost a year ago. Whoa, 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 stay with me, stay with me. Well, well, what's, what's your name? Tabitha. Whoa, Uncle, what kind of trouble are you in? I don't want to talk about that. I don't, I don't ever want to talk about it. Philip said that if I needed help, th then I could come here. I, I... I could drive you to the emergency room. Forget it. Wait. Just wait. So Peter got out of the boat and he walked on the water. And he saw the winds approaching and he became afraid. And he took his eyes off of Jesus and he began to sink. And he cried out to the Lord saying, Lord, save me. And Jesus reached out his hand. When life is a tumultuous storm, look to him and keep looking to him. And now our very own adopted daughter, Tabitha, wants to inspire us with something she's been working very hard on. Let's give her a hand. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Tom. Hey. Hey. Hey, how's your grandmother? I, uh, does she need anything? I haven't been over there in a few weeks. Oh, no. She actually moved to assisted living in Valencia. Oh. Well, got the whole place yourself. Yeah. 
Can, can you afford that? Is it okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Good, yeah. It was a really good sermon today. Oh, I've been really good lately. Really? Lately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this about? Oh, this? Oh, it's just a rough night. I really wasn't paying attention. Nice job, Reverend. Ah, uh, you too, Chipmunk. Where are you? <laughs> wow, hope you gave as good as you got. Oh, no, I w it wasn't like that. What was it like? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hey, but I, I, I gotta go. Oh, hey, wait, how'd that video turn out? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, it turned out really good. Um, really talented. Do you want, you want to see? Here is my number. Send it to me. Okay. Well, thanks. Oh, listen, I, I really got to go. I'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Don't tease him. <laughs> you know he likes you. I'm not going to ask him out. Those are the rules. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Tell you how proud I am of you. Only like 20 times. <laughs> okay. Oh. Tell us something about yourself that would shock us or move back four spaces. Mm. We do not have that kind of time. <laughs> Miss <Ms>. Abigail. <laughs> Don't you know who you're talking to? I was a singer in the 70s. <laughs> I toured with all the greats. I was hot stuff. Waist like this, skirts up to here. Oh. oh. Forgive me, Lord. You know, they called me Baby Thunder. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Too much information. Too much. Oh. Huh. Wait, is that... It's got some weight to it. Might be the one. Okay, open it. No, don't open it. Just do it. this? Sorry, I didn't know. Tore out my heart when you left. But I knew the universe would bring you back. We're bound, you and I. Don't touch me. You're confused. You're in pain. I see that. 
I told you what freedom was, true freedom, and it scared you. It's natural. I thought you were ready. I pushed you too hard, too fast. The unprepared mind will do anything to come back to this prison with its rules and comforts. That is enough. Don't say one more word. Don't try me. Do you remember that night? When all was in balance? Underneath all those stars? pledged yourself to me. The ritual night is upon us again. I pledge to be your guide, and I, I will. <laughs> My child, we must finish what we started. She's not going with you. I don't care how many guns you have. You will do nothing but offer poisoned words to enslaved minds. Shame on you. No, no, no. It's time to go. No, no, no. You are in God's house. You leave that child alone. No! <gasps> what, Preacher? What? What are you gonna do? <gasps> if you make me drag you out of here, it'll be so much worse. Come. Come. We're done here. Let me go! Don't give me any trouble. Have the... Have the... Have the... You won't get away with this! I'm calling about Abigail. for the funeral. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Talk. I'm so sorry. Abigail's dead. What? Who were they? Were they? Just talk. It's Eric. I, he was the one who hit her. Look, I just met him at work last month. When we started talking. Just need some rent. I just drove a truck. I didn't ask. I didn't ask what for. I just asked him for some advice about girls. You know, I showed him the video of that. He knew her. And then he threw me in the truck. I don't know. What else? What? What else? What else do you know? Nothing, I don't. He just. He had a tattoo on his arm. A, a spider. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where 
Where's Eric? Where's Eric? You. Where is she? Man, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Go back home before you get hurt. Last chance. Where is she? Number that has been disconnected or no longer. Hello? Listen to me. I think we were followed. We need to move Tabitha right away. Where is she? What? I haven't seen her in over a year. I'm sleeping. Who is this? about Tabitha? All your life, the world insists you punish yourself for being inconvenient. You never need to apologize to me. Okay. Eric, I hope you have some idea how disruptive this phone call is. Eric won't be having any more ideas. The preacher. Pay close attention. My name is Aaron Beckman. You ask around about me, and when you find out who I am, you're gonna let Tabitha go unharmed. It's your only chance to survive what's coming. Your actions, your threats, they mean nothing to me. My future will be as it was revealed to me. As it always has been, solid like iron, unchanging. You will fail. You 
her ways. Fail. Let her go. Now. It's impossible. That one's journey has ended as it was meant to. The desert drank her water. And she's returned to the void. I'll see you soon. could get some breakfast. Sure. Uh, yeah, come on in. Hi. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how do you like your eggs? I don't care. doing this for me. Why'd you take me in? I have my personal reasons. That's between me and God. And open. Oh, is that mine? As soon as you pass the test. I love it. How'd you afford this? Well, you earned it. We're very proud of you. Ah, uh, got something else. It's not exactly the one that you wanted, but close. Oh, it, it's great. It's really great. Thank you. And not brand new, but it's yours. I can't, I can't pay you back. Uh, no, no, you, you don't have to pay me back. Nothing, nothing's ever free. I don't mean to be ungrateful, it's just... No, I, it's okay. I get it. This is new for both of us. You being a daughter, me a dad. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. But I promise you, I'll never, never hurt you. And I'll always protect you. I've heard that before, you know. And I, I want to believe you. It's just any time.
closer. I'm Fred Shapiro with the post office. We have a package here that uh, was damaged, but the only thing I can read is a phone number. Uh, the address starts with a 2-6. Oh, no, it's 1-9. Oh, wow. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, if you can give me the correct address, we'll have this out to you tomorrow morning. Uh, oh, sure, it's 1975 Comstock Drive, Glendora 91741. Uh, hey, I'm not expecting a package. Who's it from? Uh, hello? 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 Do I know you? Inside. Okay. Well, you, you can take whatever you want. We got money. There's a safe. Who else is here? No one. Call her. Honey, will you uh, come out to the front room by the door? One sec. Janice, where's my shovel? Who else is here? It's my brother-in-law, Kirk. Sit down. OK. Janice, what is happening? It's a misunderstanding. Just do what he says. Both of you, sit down. Hands on the table. You're not involved in this. Sit. You think this is the first time someone pointed a gun at me? Just sit. That doesn't belong to you. What? What is he talking about? Who is he? Just shut up. Is she dead? Don't tell him anything. I don't know. Where did you take her? I don't know where she is. What is happening? What is going on? Where is she? I don't know. Raise your right hand. Raise your hand. Her. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Don't run. Don't shut. Sit down. OK. OK. Ah. Mister, we have children. Where is she? You're insane. Where is she? I don't know. Raise your left hand. What? No, 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 no. What is happening? Raise your hand. OK. Reese took her. Frank drove them. That's all I know. Where is this Reese? I don't know. Then where is Frank? He'll kill me. Eric is dead and his whole crew. Now, I'm here there's only one way you survive this Say anything they shut up. Mister, we have a 12 year old son. His name's Edward, and he's at school right now, and I'm supposed to be there to pick him up. And, and he's anxious. Tabitha was 17. My daughter. What? What have you gotten me into? I'm your husband. I deserve to know. Shut up, Jim. Will you just shut up? Janice,
There's no way out. What's your name? Tabitha. Hey, you didn't really make trouble. Man, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You're young with the stars. Where is it? Hey, you don't want to be late your first day. My necklace, can you help me find it? Please. Um, okay. What about? No, no, my necklace. The blue one, right? The one your mom gave you? I already looked over there. Okay. Can you please just move, please, please? Just move. What? Please move, please, please, just get out of the way. Get out of the way, stop! Hey, okay. Hey. Want to talk about it? Why'd you think? I need to lose. I already told you I don't ever want to talk about it. We're bound, you and I. When will this feeling go away? I just want to tear it out. We're done here. Let me go! Evelyn, we'll get away with this. Don't make any noise. No one's gonna hear you except for her. Janice. I don't know her name. Sometimes her brother comes down. She's much worse. Hey. It took me two days. What's your name? Wendy. Frank is coming with Reese. He's instructed me to keep you here and not kill you. He didn't say anything about hurting you. I'm gonna hurt you now. For my husband. For my children. For my brother. He protected me. He was the only one who knew me. Keys. Get the keys. I can't. I can't. I think I can get them. I'm going to be there when Reese takes you apart. Piece by piece. Uh, I'm gonna watch. Keys. Grab the keys. Keys.
come on, come on. Get out of town until this is all sorted out. The ritual will not be postponed. You're not listening. You can play cult leader anywhere. Just get on your jet and go. This guy is serious. He's a real psychopath. I looked into it. The Koreans, you know what they call him? Agman, the demon. You understand the price. Come up now. Mister, is she dead? Did I kill her? Keys. Give me five minutes, then call nine one one. What do I tell them? The truth. Somewhere where no one will think to find you. And don't answer the phone for anybody but me. I'm on my way. Isabel. 
Beckman. You don't look so good, Beckman. Come on, man. You think we're amateurs? What do you say? Love you, Papa Bear. Love you, Mama Bear. Clear. Hey, Beckman. Word is that you got out. Found religion. Not going so well, is it? Clear. It's good to see you, Aaron. Sorry, it has to go like this. 100,000 will get us out of a tight spot. Clear. Clear. Window. Reverend? What's happening? Wait! Tom! Tom! there to kill you what why i didn't do anything look i know trust me on this if you stay here you're dead it's all my fault that's not your fault none of this is your fault but what if he was lying what if what if she's not dead what if she's gone how do you know? I need you to focus. Worry about your own skin. Well, where are we going? There's this guy I know. He owes me a favor. You're not gonna like it, but it'll keep you safe until I can fix this. How? The only way to erase a bounty is to bury the man who posted it. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. I can't, I can't hear that. You're talking about murder. Reverend, you shot that guy. He knew the risk. What? You're a man of God. You killed that guy. I didn't have a choice. I got no choice. To be gentle, let me try. Please, we, we can go to the cops. The cops can't help Please. You. Cops can't help you. You're in it now. Do you understand? You're marked. What am, what am I in? Life. The other world, the underworld. You're in it now. Real killers, thieves, darkness, evil. Listen, you haven't spilled blood. You haven't taken money. You can still get out if you do 
exactly what I say. What is it? Who is that? They call him the administrator. What does that mean? No one's lived long enough to ask him. Oh, okay, well, we, we can go to the police. They'll, they'll protect us. It's not gonna happen. Okay, uh, well, let's go, go, go. We can lose them. Only idiots get in the car chases. You work around here, right? Yeah, uh, the, the brewery up on Battery Street. Okay. Where? To the right. Here, unscrew the suppressor. What? Is this loaded? This. Unscrew it. Where? It's up here on the right. Get the keys? Uh, yeah. When I say go, you get out fast. Unlock the door, I'll be right behind you. Do not disappoint me, Mr. Beckman. Do you have more ammo? Or a second fire? Very good. I've always hoped we'd have a chance to test each other. Started. So this was not a fair contest. Hard day. You are out. And now you're back with a considerable price on your head. You must have a good reason. Yeah. Before I complete every assignment, I ask this question. If I let you live, what will you do? 
What will you do, Mr. Beckman? There were four of them. Traffickers. Came into my house. Killed my daughter. All she did was escape them. That was her sin. She just had accepted the, the college. She was starting a life. There were four of them. Now there's only two. I'm gonna finish what I started. That's what I'm gonna do. I have killed 436 people. And I spared only four. I believe that because of my actions, the world is a better place. You will be number five. Mercy is a rare and powerful tool. I believe the world will be a better place with you alive. But if I see your name on the balls again, Mr. Beckman, you will have no mercy. You will not even see me coming. Hey, Beckman, you're positive no one followed you here? No one followed me. Yeah, every two big banger with a gun is gonna be after that hundred grand. I'm tempted to shoot you myself. <laughs> and I don't need the money, you know that, right? <laughs> I run all this on favors. <laughs> no, no, just kidding here. What is this? Huh? What? What is this? What is this? Oh, sweet. <laughs> you don't know. Look, I just need you to hold him for a few days. Days? You sure you want days with this kid? Yeah, I'll give you all the time in the world. What? This is a prison. You see? This is where you're going to spend the next five years. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you want to be safe or you want to be dead? No one's going to bother you in there, my guarantee. <laughs> kid got my face at a party. I could have beat him. But I thought about what you taught me. And blessed are the meek. Blessed are the merciful. And I just let him hit me. And he kept hitting me until... I don't know. I just kind of got freaked out. But he came up to me later. He wanted to know why I didn't fight back. And so I told him. Told me he was sorry. He wanted to change his whole life around. You hope that happen. When life is a tumultuous storm. I know what I said. So stop. Remember who you are. I need ammo, I'm out. Uh, hey, look, 
you know the rules. I stay completely neutral. This girl who wants you dead so bad, you know how to get to me. Not yet. You know my cousin's a broker downtown. Off the network, I could give you credit. No. I know who I need to talk to. What? No, and you got exactly what you paid for. You hired me to crack the firewall. I will take care of the rest, your exact words. That's right, Mr. Kerrigan. I record everything. I can't help but you're too basic to get past the encryption. Oh, you want to dance? Let's dance. I've got your fingerprints, I've got your DNA, I've got your social spin numbers, transcripts. I will burn your life down in minutes. Just a tourist in my world. Kara. I just want to talk. Wait. Wait. She's gonna pay us eight grand to make sure you don't find her. You gotta be kidding me. I just wanna talk. Wait, that's the guy. He saw your picture on the boards today. Boys. He's worth a hundred grand. This is gonna be a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Let's get to work. Just business, eh? It's uh, nothing personal. What? Is he dead? Are you sure? just want to talk. They must have hired you. That was a setup. I, I wasn't even there. I just need information. I wasn't even there. It's not about that. Shoot you. I don't believe you. That's what you do. Yes. I 
was out for three years. Hayes is right. We are what we are. Say who says. He was a good man. That was you. So how is it on the surface? It's beautiful. You're not afraid. You're not trapped. You're just free. Free to believe. Care about someone. Must be nice. I had a daughter. I killed her. She was just 17. You liked her. For all times. Do me this one favor. Two more men need to die. They're the last. After that. What was her name? Are the merciful, blessed are the peacekeepers. Are you ready to let it all go? Why are you doing this with me? Remember what you learned. Hey. Come on up. You found him? Bad news first. Your boogeyman, Reese Saladeras. Real name, Paul Robert Kettle the third, heir to his daddy's telecom fortune. He was worth billions. I just uh, kicked out of Darth Month in 86. Reason redacted. Police records redacted. It's been a few years in the psych wars. Hospital defunded. Poof, he's gone. Where is he now? I, off the grid. There's no permanent address. Look, all I know is that he pops up every now and then and rents houses for cash in the desert. He's there for a few weeks and he's gone. That's all I know. If, if you want any more, use the black phone and take your chances. Good news. Frank Kiedis, known trafficker and all-around giant dirtbag. He owns a fancy restaurant in Malibu, but it's a front for the business. Which is what? You know what it is. Look, you know I work with a lot of hardcore evil individuals, but I won't touch anything like that. You do me a favor. If you want twice. Beckman, the boss said to break your arms if you try to get in. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Who's this? Who are you to invite yourself to our table? This is private meeting. Go away. Meeting's over. Gentlemen, my deepest apologies. If you could follow Samar to the bar, have a drink in my business. I am the boss and the complaint department. Nothing to worry about. This will just take a few minutes. Do you think I should call no, the... No, don't call the cops. How stupid are you? You don't look so hot, preacher. Let's go in the back, have a talk. We could talk here. 
Get up. You're the guy with the gun. Why don't we skip the part where this shocks you? You're no civilian. I know exactly what you are. You know what I want? Where is he? Polecat Ranch, about 10 miles north of Piru. He's there right now, running one of his crazy rituals. You'd give him up that easy. I don't buy it. You're in my place with a gun to my head. How do I need this aggravation, huh? Over one dead kid? You go up there, pop him in the head, what do I care? He's crazy. Money ain't worth this. You think this gets you off the hook? You're part of it. You should probably answer that. Go on. Hey, put the gun down. Hey, put the, put the gun down. say I'm sorry? I am sorry that the world's rotten. A stinking open sewer. Not my fault. I didn't invent this game. I am not responsible for all the evils of the world. Why don't you ask God about that, preacher, huh? Who is responsible for creating this whole mess? I didn't ask for this. To be born into this? No. I came up from nothing. I am just playing the garbage hand I was dealt trying to make a dollar like everybody else. And you don't get to judge me, the things you've done. Ah, come on. These girls, they were never gonna make it. You know that. Not one of them. Orphans, addicts, homeless. Now, we only sell to the best select clients. Millionaires. Billionaires. We did these girls a favor! <laughs> you can't do this. You know you can't do this. Now, wait a minute. Stop. Just stop!
You're a man of God. You killed that guy. I didn't have a choice. Two more men need to die. One of the last. Safe as safe. There's got to be a way out. You have to let go. A new cycle begins. Aichi! The blood is set free to pass through the flame and is transformed, purified. Where there was once sickness and decay, there is now light, energy, purpose. Aichi! The spirit passes through the flame and it is transformed and purified. Where there was once confusion and suffering, there is now peace. Koichi! The mind is set free to pass through the flame, and it is transformed, purified. come with a very specific purpose, haven't you, preacher? To transition me into the flames. To end my journey here as Reese, your teacher. No, teacher, you can't. Blessed are the merciful. I know what I said, so stop. No. You live with yourself. Your judgment will come soon enough. Preacher, you liar, you fraud, you failure, you two deserve each other. The both of you, you're weak, undisciplined. I have no more use for you or her. You take her, you hear me? Take her. That's right, you take her and go. She's being punished down in the barrels. She might even still be alive. I hope she is. Because you two deserve each other. I want you two to live your lives out together. You're small, boring. Pointless lives. Never growing, changing, never expanding your minds. Just living day by pathetic day. Working, praying, mediocre, infinite, obedient to your corporate masters. I can think of no greater punishment. Do you hear me?
la verdad. So, who will be next to speak into the flame? Daisy? Come on up here. Who is that? That's her! Who is that? This is private property. You are trespassing. Ah! Don't shoot! I'll give you money, I swear, anything! Oh. It's done. And Beckman? He's not here. Find him. Finish it. <laughs> <laughs> 